people, I'm Appaloosa51, and today I'm going to show you a real simple and easy way to create transparent backgrounds for Galactic Civilizations 3. It is mainly for your leader foreground and for your uh, leader portrait. But you can also use Daz Studio to make uh, icons and you can make uh, backgrounds too. But today, Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a transparent, invisible background for your leader portrait and for your leader foreground. So here we go. You don't need to load anything else. Nothing at all. Nothing loaded. You don't need to start Galactic Civilizations 3 or open any other programs or anything. The only thing you're going to use is Daz Studio, Daz Studio 4.8. Okay, so here we go. Open up Daz Studio 4.8. And it's loading up. Just wait for it to load. Here we go. It's loading up, loading up, and there we go. And of course, this is normal right here. Just click OK, and it disappears. Now, if you notice on the left hand side and the right hand side, there are two panes. Usually the one on the right hand side is for content library and on the left hand side is smart content which, that, which it actually is content library too. Also, <laughs> it just does it that way. But anyway, what you're going to have to do, if you notice, here is your work, work area and you're going to have to create a character or load a character that you already created before and you're going to have to use content from the content library or the smart content to dress them up and you're going to use lights and everything to make it all look pretty. You're not going to put nothing into the scene or nothing, you're just going to create a character. I've already created one so I don't have to go through all of that to create one. So I just need to do, and I've saved it, and all I have to do is just load it up. So it's under unassigned right here for me. That's for me now. Now if you've got a character already created, there's where it will be too. And if not, you'll have to go up and create one using figures and clothing and clothes and shoes and lights and everything else. But I've already got one created. And you're going to recognize this character. Here it is, Thyria Rue. One of my mods on Galactic Civilizations 3 Workshop. So I'm going to lo load it. Got to wait for her to load. See, it's loading right here. And when it loads, it'll show up in this area. This is your work area. See, there she is. There's Daria Rue. You know her from one of my mods. And you can move her around. You can check it out if you want to change the clothes or whatever thing. But it, we don't need to do that. This uh, tutorial is not how to make the clothes or anything like that. It's how to make a transparent background. So we've got our character. So you can zoom in or zoom out. Now, once you got your character in the scene, that's all there is to it, except for uh, what size you want, and turn background off, and render it. Make your picture. See, if you notice here, my background is black. Yours might be blue or gray or green, or you might have a background back there. Don't worry. Whatever you got back there in the background, don't make no difference. Because we're going to click one switch and one switch only, and it'll render it with nothing back there. No matter what you got back there, it's only going to make your character only. Okay, so we, so to refresh you, we we created or we put a character in the scene. Now all you have to do is go to render. Up here is is it say render. Click render, and you'll see some boxes here to say render settings. Render library and environment. Now, if you don't see that word environment there, don't worry. All you have to do is go up here where it says window at the top, click it. It'll say panes, P A N E S. Go down to where it says environment. It's in alphabetical order. Click environment. Now, if you click environment, a little tiny box will show up here, and you just take, you just drag that little tiny box over, over to here. Let go of the button and it, it will lock itself and you'll always see it right here instead of up here. Okay, so we've loaded her character. 
Now we're in render by clicking render. Now when you click render in the render settings, see if you click it again, it disappear. If you click render settings, over here on the left, it'll say general. Now in general, you can set your dimensions. You see this little square box here? Whatever whatever's in that square box is how it's going to render in the size. Now if you remember, Galactic Civilizations 3 require that the background and the leader foreground be 1920 by 1080. So we, what we have to do, we have to go into over here on the left under, under the render settings where it says dimension preset. Click that and if you look there will be a 1920 by 1080 size. It's right there. See that? Click that and you see this changed. Now what this means is that this the your render is going to be 1920 by 1080 and that's what it's going to look like so you can whatever's in that square see if you bring it up to here the head won't be in there the feet won't be in there only this so you need to position your character however you want it this is for the foreground so if you remember what the foreground is is everything back here is going to be a background to galactic civilizations 3 not here, we're not going to create the background, we're just going to create this character. Because in Galactic Civilizations 3, you have two things you have to click. Click one, choose your background. Next to it, click the foreground. And Galactic Civilizations 3 will take both pictures, combine them together, and you have your result. So, the only thing we need is the leader for the foreground for the 1920 by 1080. Okay, we go over here, we set the size, and if you read here, it says 1920 by 1080. And if you look here, that's what it's gonna look like, just within those, that square. Okay, so we've got that all set up. See, I can turn her around, do anything I want. Okay, don't worry about these little things. Those are what's, what is called lights. They don't show up. That light right there is coming down onto her. I, I'll show you. See behind, there ain't no light, see that? In the front, there's a light. See that? That's why she's all lit up. <laughs> well, anyway, back to here. We loaded her character. We went to render. We set our dimensions, 1920 by 1080. Now we need to, when we render it, to make sure it's transparent background. It's real easy. One step. Go to environment. Remember I told you about environment, which is right underneath render settings. Click that. And there'd be just a couple of boxes. And if you look down, one will say visible in render. Your environment is your background. Visible in render. Do you want it on or do you want it off? In other words, if you've got it on, it will render and create it with the background. If you've got it off, it will be a transparent background. Remember that. Visible in render turn it off and you turn it off by just clicking and it'll say off on off on off if you click it off when you render it the only thing that's going to show in the render is your character only and everything else is going to be transparent and invisible okay you've turned you've loaded your character you set your dimensions You've turned the visible and render off. Now the only thing you have to do is render it. To render it, you just go back up to render settings and this little green thingy will say render up here. Click render. And there you go. See how quick that was? Well, for me it's quick. You want to know why it's quick for me? And I'll, I'm just going to tell you just some little added information. I use an i7 processor. I got 65 gig of RAM and my graphics card is an NVIDIA Titan and NVIDIA Titan and everything is very quick now see it rendered it see how quick that that render is you see if you notice all these little squares that's invisible background see it's got it all just my character only now only to save it you have to type in a name whatever name you want save yada 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 and go down here and click save and it'll come all it'll stop like that and done so to refresh, get you a character, dress her up nice, go to render, 
set your dimensions 1920 by 1080 go over to environment and just click one switch and one switch only just click it off then go back to render settings and render it that's it load character set and uh, set turn your background off and render character turn background off render character turn background off render now that is for the foreground now what about that uh, portrait portrait is what 128 but 128 you can use 200 by 200 200 by 200 is good it'll still accept that the only thing you have to do is go back to render settings you can still use the same character go back to render settings click up here where it says dimension preset and if you notice there's 128 by 128 that's the square one one click square one one you see that right there okay now over here it still say 1920 by 1080 but you don't want that you want 200 by 200 or 128 but 128 okay you just say 200 by 200 there you go and when it renders it'll be 200 by 200 with a transparent background okay the only thing you did here was change it to square one one for the dimensions type in 200 by 200 to make it that size what galactic civilizations 3 wants for the portrait and just to check you don't have to but you can now just to check it say visible and render on or off make sure it's off go back to render settings cl click render and you see it's a 200 by 200 and type in a name and save so the only thing you did now was you got your character do your dimension preset 200 by 200 make sure it's turned off the background and render character set dimensions turned off render and you can make hundreds and hundreds and hundreds any shape any design see you want a close-up for the portrait right so you zoom in like that and then save it see you can even turn her head and everything so enjoy you'll enjoy Daz Studio and how to make transparent backgrounds very easy. The only way you make transparent backgrounds is flip one switch, one switch only. You don't have to do like Photoshop and GIMP. You don't have to choose the color buckets. You don't have to choose the color. You don't have to have to square it out and do this and do that in Daz Studio. The only thing you have to do is turn the background off and the background is automatically invisible and translucent now that was easy wasn't it i'm appaloosa 51 have a good day